another cup of coffee, but uh -huh. not too much trouble. Never too much trouble for a good customer and a nice man. Hi. You know Mr. Girard? Is he here? Yeah, he's right over there. <laughs> Thanks. Mr. <laughs> Girard, I'm Pete. Customers. Pete? Friend of Harry's. Harry's friend. I'm glad to know you. You know what? You know hmm. what? You can just look at a man and tell he's the salt of the earth. Thank you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about Mr. Gerard. Oh, yeah. Just take one look at it. I've never seen a guy with so many friends in my life. Huh? Everybody always coming into the diner saying, Hi, you, Mr. Gerard. How are you, Mr. Gerard? Yeah. I tell you, you can just take one look at that face and tell he's a cute, simple, innocent, sweet little man. Probably lives with his mother. Yeah. I bet you he owns a pipe shop. You know the type. How come he's in here all the time if he owns a pipe shop? He's a night clerk in a motel. That's that's what that face tells me, a night clerk in a motel. Night clerk in a motel. For example, right? What can you tell from her face? Hey. Uh, <laughs> you oh, yeah. Hi, Charlie. Hiya, Charlie. I, I, I know I know about his face. I know about his face. It's, he looks like he's, he works for the government. Yeah. And um, he's Lord Biden. Yeah. And he works very softly. Yeah. And he carries a big stick. Yeah, I'm so, I'm so <laughs> I'm uh, kind of sorry I ever brought the whole subject. Hey, coffee to go, huh? Oh, coffee to go. You got it. Excuse me. How do I here? I mean, why do you have to go? I gotta get back to the car. What for? I got a Brahms concerto playing on the radio. <laughs> Thanks a lot, fellas. See okay. you later. See you, Charlie. Right. Hey, Bert. Yeah? It, it's time for the last race. Oh, right, Mr. Gerard. Of course. Almost forgot. That, that's got to be his one vice. His one vice, listening to the races. I bet his mother doesn't even really listen. That, that's right. That's why he comes here. Night clerk in the motel. That's what that face tells me. I'm telling you. Hurry down the stretch. Just cast away by a link. Big blue. And here comes Rose Blossom on the outside. Cast away in Rose Blossom. Neck and neck. And Rose Blossom wins by a nose. Rufus, thanks. We, we just about made it. Yeah. Say, hey, Rufus, would you mind bringing me some sliced peaches, please? Sure, sure. If it's no trouble. No trouble. Come on, I'm hungry. Oh. Some sliced peaches. Okay. I won, I won. I know, I know. Better luck tomorrow, fellas. I'll be here. Don't forget the first race at 1.30. Best odds in town. <laughs> what happened to everybody? Oh, your pictures. Oh, thanks. Thanks for... I hope, I hope there wasn't too much trouble. No trouble, no trouble. That face, he's got to be a boy scout leader, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or a night clerk in a motel. Ready? Get set, go. 
stop in and get all the fresh air I can. I'm, I'm driving up to Cleveland this morning. You're driving? Of course. The way I walk, I might hit somebody. <laughs> More on there. Property, you just can't go around and um, look at any place. Just make yourself at home, take a look around, everything. <laughs> um, it's a nice day, huh? <laughs> sure is. <laughs> sure is what? A nice day, a nice day. <laughs> Coffee or something? No, thanks. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Not here, huh? Okay. Hey, wait, well, no, wait a second. Sure. Let's go, Chop Chop. Oh. Well, if you're back in the neighborhood, come just drop by. <laughs> that little bookie shows up. Give him a good meal. It'll be his last one. Bookie, we don't know any bookie. Well, we never had a bookie in here ever. We never you had a bookie. say you don't know no bookie. He says you never had a bookie in here. I say you better be leveling <laughs> about the bookie. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mr. Gerard, Mr. Gerard can't be a That's bookie. That's ridiculous. Me a bookie. I can let in third. Five to one. You're a bookie, 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 you're a bookie, bookie. you see? Honest, fellas, I, I should have told you. I should have told you, but I, I just didn't want to get you involved. Involved? involved? You make a book in the diner, we're not involved? Well, honest, I, I, I'm telling you the truth. You gotta believe me. I, I don't like being a bookie. I, I just made a mistake. Haven't you fellas ever made one little mistake in your whole life? You're standing in it. <laughs> Gee, I, I, I want to go straight, but but they won't let me. They, they, the organization. The organization. organization. You, you mean the big O? Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Hey. That's why they're after me. I, I'm trying to go straight. You see, but they won't let me. What do you mean they won't let you? Well, I'll give you a little help. No, you? no, Rook, come on. I, you, you can't do anything for me, fellas. Honest, there's nothing you can do. I'll just have to keep running and running and running. But maybe there is one other thing you can do for me. I have a few mo momentum in here, and all I have to show for my life is a few cherished pictures. Would you take care of them for me? And if I never make it back, would you please see that my dear mother gets it? She's a sweet old lady. Yeah, okay. Take good care of them and put them in a safe place. Right, right. So long, fellas. So long. You're, right, you're a real friend. You can count on us. I can, I will. Go on. Hmm. You think we got troubles? How do you like that? A man's whole life in a silly little briefcase. Mm, yeah. Wait a second. If it's so important to him, why is he leaving it with us? 
Because he said if he doesn't come back, we got to give it to his mother. Yeah, but we don't know his mother. Hmm. And if the mob is after him, why is he so worried about mementos? But you're so suspicious. Would I you am be not nice suspicious. Why would you be happy if there's $50,000 in there he stole from the mob, right? That would make you happier? Right, and he left it with us because if they catch him with it, they'll kill him. That's... No, no, no. He's just a very nice, sweet, sensitive little bookie. <laughs> Open the case. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this pictures. This... What was in there? Fifty thousand dollars oh. that he stole from the mob, and if they catch us with it, they're gonna kill us. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, they're gonna put two and two together. They're gonna remember that we hid him, right? They're gonna think that this place is a front for a bookie place, and we're getting a cut. What are you telling me? I know all that. The longer I talk, the longer I live. Because <laughs> we cannot hide it there. They're gonna find it. We have to find a good, secure place to hide it, Ruth, where they'll never find it. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. Okay. I don't know where we're going to put... No, not in there. No, no. Hey, listen, I'm not used to hiding money. I'm used to finding money. Yeah. We, we ought to call the police. Yeah, we're right, because the longer we have this here, the more trouble we're going to get right, into. Right, right. Uh-oh, talk about trouble. That's Claudia. If she finds out about this, she'll be scared out of her wits. Here. That makes three of us. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. If you take it. No, no. Hide it, hide it, hide it. Where am I going to put it? I don't know. Put it in the refrigerator. Oh, why don't you think of a sensible place? Yeah, well, uh, we don't need any lettuce. Oh, no, we got lots of lettuce. Yeah, and, uh, and cabbage. And oh. we also got a lot of bread, too. Yeah. <laughs> now we have some more lettuce. Yeah. But I want to put it in the refrigerator. Oh, well, honey, let me do it for you. Oh, well, oh, okay. Hey, Claudia, would you like to talk to me for a second? What's in the briefcase? What briefcase? The briefcase is not supposed to be in the refrigerator. Oh, the briefcase that's not supposed <laughs> yeah, to be yeah. in a review. You want to see the you briefcase? Bet, you bet. Okay. okay. Here we go. Hey, hey, wait, wait. What's in there? Huh? For birthday present? Huh? Claudia, Claudia, I absolutely forbid you to open that case. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't no. have said that. <laughs> Claudia, no, we're not rich. Sorry, what? sorry, it is not our money. Forget the limousine and the maid. Bert, I've never seen so much money in my whole life. Oh, is this it? Where did it come from? Claudia, I cannot tell you. You're just going to have to trust me. Money, That's all. Money. I do. I trust you. I trust you. Oh, where did it come from? Claudia, just listen to him. Look, he's your husband and you're his widow. <laughs> All How right. did it come from? All right, you're All right. my wife, tell her. and I will tell her. Tell her. All right. right, tell me. Claudia, a bookie left it with us because the gang was after him, and they left it with us because if they caught him, they would kill him. Okay, don't tell me. Uh, hey, can I get some service out here? Look, customer. just forget about this right no, now. When you come in, I... forget about it. When you come back from helping the customer, yeah. I'll tell you the truth, okay? You promise Please. me now. I promise not. Bookie from the mother. <laughs> We gotta make up some truth. <laughs> the only thing to do is to call the police. I mean, that's what any law-abiding citizen should do when he observes a crime. So call him. On the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, we're not sure that that money is stolen, nor are we positive that those gangsters are killers. So don't call them. But they sure do look like killers. So call them. I wish you'd make up your mind. <laughs> all right, all right, I'll call him. I'll call him. It's my duty. Give me the police. Try dialing first. Oh. <laughs> Give me the police. Try putting a dime in first. <laughs> Hello? Bert. Operator. Bert. Bert. Wait a second. Bert. Wait a second. No. Operator. Bert. 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 Operator. Bert. Bert. I would like to... Bert. Bert. Police? <laughs> ah! You said you never heard of Gerard. I say... You guys lied to me. What are we hanging around here for? Oh, God. <laughs> All right, the bookie's not here now. Where is he? Honestly, we don't know where he is. He's not coming back here. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry. The bookie's never Yeah, and, uh, that's, that's a no-no, you yeah. see. We wouldn't have a crook hanging out mm, in our... No, no. I beg your pardon, nothing personal. <laughs> what times do you usually show up? 
I don't think he's ever going to come back here, do you? No. We know he comes in. You know he comes in. <laughs> Just a matter of wait. Yeah, well, you see, he's probably moving to a new location, getting hot here, you know. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I'll go out and try to find him. You, you ain't leaving. <laughs> we ain't leaving. <laughs> and when Gerard shows up, he ain't never leaving. <laughs> Get him down, chop, chop. Get him away! <laughs> hey, bring us a couple of hamburgers. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what? What, what? You're afraid of him. Make it snappy. Yes, sir. Ah. Mm. Lettuce. Lettuce, lettuce. Oh, oh, we're out of lettuce. We have to go down to the produce store and pick up some more lettuce. A very enterprising idea. Here we go. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I don't, don't think we need any lettuce. lettuce. No, we can do without the lettuce uh, very well. Hey, you. No, you, the big one. Oh, I you. Hold up an olive. An olive? That's right, handsome. Just in case you get any more fancy ideas. You missed. Where's the pimento? Are you okay? I think my whole life just flashed in front of my pimento. <laughs> I think I need a tranquilizer. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what happened? I thought I heard a shot. Uh, no, no, honey, it was a backfire. Uh, yeah, yeah. Bing, fire, bam. Oh, gee, uh -huh. something, it sounded exactly like it came from down here. Hey, the who's the girly girl? Well, who are you? My friends call me Gunner. Gunner? Uh, yeah, well, this, this is my uh, wife, my sweet, lovely, little, innocent wife. Uh, thanks for coming down to uh, pay a little visit, honey. Thank you. You know something, Bert? I'm really worried about that money. Money, money. Don't worry about money. We'll pay the bills. Bills, please. yes, we'll pay the bills. Take care of the bills. <laughs> oh, good. See you later now. Bye-bye. <laughs> what happened to the telephone? Uh, Termite. Termite. Yes, uh, don't, don't, don't listen to him. We had an accident. Later. See you later. <laughs> hey, all the tomato. And onions. <laughs> What? I really had it. I really am fed up with those guys. Ruth is controlling yourself. Tell them, no, no. Ruth. Really, I, you know, okay, okay, I'm fed up with them, and that's it. Ruth, okay. control yourself. Okay, you? I know I'm scared, and you know I'm scared, but you just can't go around intimidating innocent people. Bring me a chocolate malt. Yes, sir, one chocolate malt. Ruth, I said, just because you got a big gun, you think you're a big man, huh? He, he, he doesn't mean anything he's saying. It's, 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 it's all right. That no, means. I mean, I really mean it. Of course, I could be talked out of it. <laughs> hey, hey, wait a second. You just put him down. Do something, do something, do something. Do something. Let us pray. Yeah, okay. Uh, hi, the fellas. Thank you. <laughs> hey, remember the pimento. The, the pimento, oh, right. Yeah, right. Hi, Charlie. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Give me a hot dog. Sure, sure. Yeah. Do what? I'm going to write help with mustard right behind. Hold the mustard, huh? Write a note. Write a note. Well? I never had to start these things. I never... Hey, 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 hey. Did you write coming here? Wait a second, wait a second. You better, I'm going to hurry up, too, because you're rather be here in a minute. Hey, wait a second. How come you signed my name? Just in case. Oh. Okay. Do it, do it. Thank you. Not bad. Mm. A little tough. Mm. <laughs> he the note. I'm hip. I'm hip. <laughs> Write another note. We put him in it. We put it in the mall. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Do you think I... Malted. Please. <laughs> I think I need a tranquilizer. I'll... Hmm. house. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there, Ruth! That's not for him. That's for that man over there. No, oh, no, it's our last chance. Ruth, it's a sweat of man over there. It's all right. It's all right, Oh, excuse me. Hey, thanks. Boy, am I thirsty. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the He's not coming back. He's just not going to come back here. I got a hunch he is. Hmm. Since you guys did us the courtesy of putting the fuzz out of action, hmm. <laughs> we'll wait. Oh, boy, Charlie, wake up. Have some coffee, Charlie. Hi, Mr. Bender. Oh, hi, Mr. Bender. Hey, get rid of him. Hi, Mr. Bender. Goodbye, Mr. Bender. Bye, Mr. Bender. Wait a minute. I, I just got here. I, I thought you went to Cleveland. I've been to Cleveland. Oh. Haven't I? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I sure must have had a great time there. Because I don't remember a thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I just remembered. That you must have drove Mr. Gerard to Cleveland. He drove Mr. Gerard to Cleveland. Mr. He did. Yeah. He did? Yeah. yeah, it's one of the things you don't remember. <laughs> hey, yeah. are you sure of that? Uh, I never forget a thing, pal. So long. Yeah. Smith, where, where did that park my car? Oh, yeah. Cleveland. He <laughs> 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 really took Mr. Gerard to Cleveland. I just you remember St. Gerard's in Cleveland, yeah. huh? No, no. We better phone Louie and check that out. Oh. <laughs> Let's go, Chop Chop. Yeah. Well, if you're ever back in the neighborhood, just, just Wait stop me. Wait a minute. Can't leave no witnesses. Witnesses? Witnesses to what? You, you didn't kill anybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Bert? Yeah? Is it really true a bookie stole this money what from the mom? Oh, yeah. I tell oh, you, yeah. the more I think about it, the more nervous what I am. That? I'm going to take it. Well, why isn't anybody saying anything? Help. Help? <laughs> I don't think we got a check with Louie. <laughs> what do we got here? Hey, a little extra bonus, huh, Chop Chop? Just about enough to pay for the extra clients we got to rub out. Hey, girl, what you talking about? Claudia, I want you to know I've loved you all my life. You've loved me all your life? Hey, what's going on? Hey. Gentlemen? Hey, gentlemen? Hey, Bert? Hey, what are you doing? Wait a minute. Hey, money. Hey, Chop Chop, get the money! Hey! hey. It's going to bring a lot of business into this place, you know that? Yeah, people like to rub elbows with heroes. Right. Yeah. There we go. Hey! It's in the papers. It's, it's in the papers. Paper. Look, 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 look. It's the headline. It says, killers captured in local diner. Right. Well, I hope it gives our address. What does it say? My read on. It says, gallant police officer Charlie Rogers yesterday bravely overcame two desperate killers while the terrified restaurant owners stood helplessly by. <laughs> Why is it that the good guys never win? Mm. Great. 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 